As Iran threatens U.S. Navy, Biden plays appeasement games. And this is Iran U.S. warning shot leaks nuclear deal. I'm titling this video, Iran threatens U.S. Ship ships as Biden offers more appeasement. And this is a topic report, which was U.S. fires warning shot on Iranian vessel threatening U.S. Navy in the Persian Gulf. And our top story here from this is, and we're going to look at a couple of other, well, you'll see. You'll see. You just keep watching. It's worth it. Second close call between Iranian and American vessels raises tensions. This is from the New York Times, an excerpt from Eric Schmidt. For the second time in a month, vessels from Iran and the United States came dangerously close in the Persian Gulf on Monday night. The U.S. Navy said on Tuesday, escalating tensions between the two nations as their negotiations have resumed talks towards renewing the 2015 nuclear deal. According to the U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet in Bahrain, three fast attack craft from Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps sailed close to a Navy coastal patrol ship and a Coast Guard patrol boat as the two American vessels were patrolling international waters in the northern part of the Persian Gulf. At about 8 p.m. local time Monday, the Iranian boats rapidly and repeatedly approached the American ships, the Firebolt and the Baranov. At one point, coming as close as 68 yards, according to a Navy statement, the American crews issued multiple warnings via bridge-to-bridge -bridge radio and loudspeakers, but the Iranian vessels continued the close-range maneuvers. The Navy said when the, fish, when the Firebolt's crew fired warning shots, the Iranian vessels moved away to a safe distance from the U.S. vessels, the Navy said. Another story here related to this. U.S. Navy says it fired warning shots at Iranian vessels in the Gulf from Al Jazeera.com. From Miri.uk, Nazanin Zagari Ratcliffe's husband accuses Tories of enabling abuse of jailed wife. So this is some of the backdrop of what's going on here and kind of the hot mess that, uh, that Biden finds himself, the double game that he finds himself, where on one hand he's appeasing another fascistic nation. By the way, this is another example of the, the quote-unquote anti-fascists embracing fascism which they do when they align themselves with China, which they do when they pick Iran over the U.S., and, and they do that continually. Uh, from the Mirror.UK, the excerpt, the distraught husband of imprisoned mom, imprisoned mom, I'm sorry, imprisoned mom, Naznan, Nazanin Zagari Ratcliffe has accused ministers of enabling the abuse his wife has suffered from Furious, Richard Ratcliffe accused the government of showing a reluctance to do anything that might oppose Iran, says Nazanin, has paid the price. And I know right now that the UK government has the quote-unquote so-called conservative party in power. There are no conservatives. They are, they are just like in America. The, the American GOP is the Washington generals. They're the Washington generals for their Harlem Globetrotters, which is the, the authoritarian right-left, which derives its power fundamentally from the corporate state nationalists more than anyone else, more than anything else. Iran nuclear deal talks participants have decided to expedite the process of full return to 2015 agreement, Russian envoy says. This is where you have that appeasement thing where they're just going to it's going to ignore all the hideousness of Iran and the fact that Iran continues to, to threaten the U.S. in a very bellicose manner. Uh, and while they're firing warning shots on Iran, they're also appeasing Iran. Rouhani says leak tape aimed to sow division in Iran. This is a reference to which we covered the leak tape that uh, the Iranian leadership is revealing essentially that the ones in charge are the, the radical Islamo-fascists, the Iranian National Guards, the mullahs, that this is a, this is a in, in the very, very purest sense of the term, a, a radical fascistic, theocratic, na nation, nationalist state. The, uh, again, they're, they're fascista. They're fascista. But remember that the American, quote-unquote, left embraces Iran. They, they have nothing but good things to say about. No, I don't mean all of the American. When I say, I should say, uh, yeah, the American fascist left. <laughs> the American fascist left. Their problem isn't fascism. Their problem is the type of fascism. If the fascism stands upon... Well, what, what morality does the fascism utilize? Does it use the morality 
of the quote-unquote left, or does it use the morality of the quote-unquote right to do the same thing, which is to control human beings using uh, the special elite powers of a select few individuals to dictate the morality of all? Well, they... They really don't have a problem with fascism, and they don't have a problem with Iran. Iranian activists condemn vote to add Iran to UN Women's Commission. Says it's like putting ISIS in charge. It's just the UN. Yeah, if you have enough, if you have enough silver coin, if you have a 30, 30 pieces of silver, you can get any position you want in the UN, no matter what you do. In point of fact, and the UN is one of the greatest gathering it's it's one of the i guess you could say it's it's the place where a lot of the corpus state nationalists uh are able to wield their behind the scenes power over over the nation states as a whole it's not absolute power there's frictions even within the corpus state nationalists there's competition so it's not like one big hegemonic cop cabalistic uh, empire it's 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 much more complicated than that but but in aggregate it's overwhelmingly this is the un that uh will mostly be led by the nose by the corpus state nationalists iran preys on german companies for nuclear know-how and equipment this is a german intel report from legal insurrection and then finally we have iranian fast attack craft dangerously approach u.s coast guard patrol boats that's from defense blog there you go. There you go. Welcome to your uh, Iranian allies, American quote-unquote left. <laughs>